Hey, what's up guys? Trickmark here, and welcome to a little VR tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys, first of all, how I get into Beam and GVR, for anyone who has no idea how to do that yet, as well as how I record my videos. Because um, you may have noticed with other people that record it, their views kind of look um, cropped or edited and all this other stuff. Uh, meanwhile, I kind of get like a one-to-one -one view, so I will show you guys how to do that if any of you are interested in recording Beam and GVR yourself or anything like that. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and get started with getting into VR as it is for Beam and G. So Beam and G, unlike uh, American Truck Sim, which I will do a future video on, um, is very simple to get into VR for. Um, there's no different methods depending on if you have an Oculus Rift or a Valve Index. Currently I'm using my Oculus Rift S, uh, but when I go to the recording section I will show you guys how I do that for my Valve Index. Um, all right, so you just open the game like usual, click free roam, pick any map. Um, I don't usually do videos on Utah, so we're going to go to Utah for this. All right. So, what you want to do is you believe you need a numpad for this. Yes. Alright, so you will need a numpad, but I do believe you can change this keybind in the settings. We will look into that in a second here. But you want to hit control on your keyboard and numpad zero. It's going to bring up this, and you just want to click it again. Alright, the game won't change until you put on your headset. Alright, and then this is what the monitor main view looks like. Uh, this might be what you've seen in other videos of Beam and G VR. Um, but yeah, so here we are in VR. Got our D series. We'll just go ahead and grab. We'll grab the new vehicle, because why not? Uh, sure. So, you know, here we are do anything that you wanted to uh one thing and this is why in my videos i don't always open the doors and stuff is in vr it is very hard to click the nodes for things like might not show but you can kind of probably see my mouse is nowhere near that and it's highlighting yeah there we go so that's one downside. I do know you can do something with your controllers, but I don't know. Um, so, go ahead and throw some gear. I'll just crash in this pole or something over here. Boom. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Very simple. That's Beam and G in VR. You've seen it. Let's go ahead and show you how I record this. So, yeah, I'll just leave the game open, that's fine. I go into my Windows search, we're going to type in Oculus or Meta, going to go open file location, going to want to right click on that and click the same button, All right, and then we'll go back to support, diagnostics, and then Oculus mirror. It'll give you this little mirroring window right here. Um, if you have two monitors, I recommend throwing this up onto your second monitor, uh, which is what I'm going to do right now. And then in OBS, I have it set up as a game capture, and I have it set to capture the specific window, and then I just select Oculus Mirror. Um, and then mine is resized, if you can see there, to be a little bit bigger. Uh, that is because because when I move around you can kind of see these like black bars in the view so to counteract that I made my recording window a little bit bigger so now I'm gonna show you guys that is how I get my VR view for when I do my recordings so yeah this is that's pretty much it this is how I do it with the keybinds, there's going to be a few things that you'll want to switch. Um, I'm going to go to camera first. And I believe there's a button 
called? Okay, so right here, this is where you can enable your VR headset. So if you don't have a numpad, you can go ahead and switch this control there. Another control that you'll want is this center VR headset. That essentially will reset your camera view. So if you don't like how this is set up right now, like this isn't preferable. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that until my view is a little bit better. Uh, it's, it's a little high, but you know, that's okay. What the hell is the car in reverse? I guess so. Um, but yeah, there we go. I now have a reset camera view. This is a little bit better. So yeah. That is how I get in the VR and Beam and G, as well as how I record it on Oculus. Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you the difference between this and using a non-Oculus headset. So one that you would rely more on Steam VR for, and just how I record that. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead. Go to Steam VR. All right. On this little pop-up window, you're gonna click the three lines. Hit Display VR View, and then let me grab it. This little window should open up with VR View. Um, I would recommend throwing this onto a second monitor if you have one, but you're just gonna click full screen. Um. And then once you do that, grab your recording software. I'm using OBS for this. You're gonna want a game capture source. Uh, set it to mode, capture specific window. And then you wanna set the specific window to be VR monitor EXE, VR view. And then once you select that as your selected source, this is what you're gonna get. So this is what the game, this is exactly what I'm seeing in my view. And this is how I get those full screen recordings for my videos. Um, and then I'm just drive around real quick. Okay, that's a rock. Um, using a keyboard right now, not my steering wheel. <laughs> so yeah, this is how you hop into VR using the Steam VR headset, as well as how you can then. Um, Get a full screen recording for Steam VR. If you guys found this helpful at all, either the Oculus or the Steam VR version of it, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested in any future content that I may upload. Um, I do plan on releasing some videos on some regular VR games or just in general some other gaming content besides my like no commentary, BMG VR driving, and other driving simulators. As much as they're fun and all, especially in VR, you know, it'll be nice to kind of branch out, do some other things, uh, especially with some friends. So, if you guys are interested in that, I will, I do kind of plan on getting those videos up sporadically on Fridays. So, if you ever see an upload from me on a Friday, just expect it's probably some different content. Um, Anyways, feel free to share this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next one. Stick around.